Clergy and laity united for economic justice and community allies held a prayer vigil calling for justice and solidarity for vulnerable communities in front of Long Beach City Hall. Long Beach Council members Roberto Uranga, Janine Pierce, and Linda Gonzalez talk about their concerns for these vulnerable communities. Thank you, Reverend Ricardo, for uh, emceeing this, this event. And I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy day to be here today to acknowledge the support that our immigrant families, our immigrants to this country need, especially because we are being morally challenged by our new president. We are being morally challenged to accept hate versus love. And the message that I've been hearing today is all about love. And it's not about hate. It's about acceptance and not about rejection. It's about tolerance. It's about accepting and tolerating our diversity. It's about being one. Hector over here has a sign that I saw right now. It says, somos buenas personas, el mundo es para todos. Hector is eight years old. He says, we are all good people, the moon is for every, the world is for everybody. <laughs> and how true is that? So as we move forward with this administration and he continues to use that new speak of hate is good, hate is love, rejection is tolerance, let's look at ourselves that we have to say love trumps hate. Can we all say that? Love trumps hate. It's really special to be here today. I think I've said it a few times. It's a unique opportunity to be a community organizer who's marched with you guys, who's uh, created policies with you guys, who's held electeds accountable together. And then to be an elected official and to have that moral grounding at a moment of crisis is really uh, puts me at pause sometimes to really consider what my role is. And being here with you all today, I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. And so I uh, just want to thank you. I, these last three months have shown us anything. It's that our community is continuing to go stronger and to find moments of purpose together, to come together and to hold electeds accountable and to set your vision forward uh, and to continue to hold us accountable for that. And so I want to say thank you for that. Don't stop, <laughs> get stronger. You might have heard the statistics over the weekend and they deserve repeating. Within the last 40 years, zero refugees from countries included in the tr President's travel ban have killed anyone in a terrorist attack on US soil. During this time, only 17 people from these nations combined have been convicted directly of planning or implementing a terrorist attack. This ban is built on fear and hate. And as my colleague says, love trumps hate. <laughs> These numbers show us loud and clear that Trump's Muslim ban and his plan to build a wall are not based on logic or reason, but rather hate and fear and divisiveness. And we know that when together we are stronger, divided we fall. And that's why today coming together is so important. At what point do we say enough? When a woman with stage four breast cancer is prevented from seeing her family because of the country she was born in? When a man who has not seen his son in over four years is ordered to turn around? We've seen the history, we know our history books, and we know enough is enough. It's gonna take courage on my half, my colleagues' half, and the nation to say, love trumps hate. I'm stealing your stuff, Roberto. His actions are unconstitutional, and they set a, a dangerous precedent for what to come. Banning mu Muslims and refugees does not make our country safer, it makes us less safe. We know this. We know that when we would divide, we put ourselves at risk. And we know that here in Long Beach, we're not gonna take it. We know here at Long Beach we're going to stand together and we're going to send a strong message. And we need to have you guys continue to come out and build that trust and build that love and hold us accountable. Uh, bienvenidos, gracias a todos. Thank you so much, everybody. It's like amazing to see uh, such a beautiful congregation of individuals who are from Long Beach or even out of town, but all of us make up this amazing, great city. Um, I'm the daughter of an immigrant. My best friend is from Iran, Tehran. So to hear that, you know, a few months ago we had her wedding, and to know that a few months ago people were coming in from her homeland of Iran, enjoying this beautiful wedding, 
to know that now that wouldn't have been possible. And it's, it's sad, it really is. And so, um, of course, as elected officials, we will do everything that we can in our power and our purview to be able to protect the individuals that live, work, and play here in the city of Long Beach.